My name is Raphael Sarcheta, I am from France and I am the director of uh, Badminton Photo, official agency of the Badminton World Federation. I was a reporter, I'm a journalist, my education is a, a journalist, so I started off uh, writing articles for the uh, IBF at the time and then uh, it was the very beginning of the website for the, for the IBF and they wanted articles but also some pictures. So they asked if I could provide some uh, digital images at the time and I had no clue on how to take you know, uh, photos with a digital camera, so it was the, the very beginning. So I hired a, a, a very, very simple digital camera at the time and then I started from there and then bought a new one and then uh, you know, increased the in lenses, in, uh, in bodies, camera bodies, and uh, that's how it started. I think the first six or eight years I did both. So I was uh, making the reports or interviewing the players and then taking photos at the same time. And it was a crazy schedule because it's very difficult to do both. Uh, so now I switched to only photography. We try to reach the venue maybe one hour before it starts and we get settled. It kicks off and then we're here on the side court uh, taking as many pictures as we can and best quality as we can. Uh, and then each time we have to upload the photos on what we call the badminton wire for our clients to be able to download the, the images live. We don't wait until the end of the day to put all the images. So it's a constant go back and forth between the courts and the computer to upload the, the images. Uh, of course, we, we have to be on the lookout for what's happening even though we're working on the computer. Something can happen, so we have to drop everything and then, and then go back to the, the side court to get that. Um, and then we try to have a few minutes to eat, often while the, uh, the photos are uh, uploading on the computer. So it's uh, mostly cold food. Yeah, like I said, it's constant pressure. and It's fun, but it's also exhausting at the end of a tournament where all, all the badminton photographers were like, OK, this is over, but, uh, and we're happy because we, you know, we are witnesses to uh, all what's happening and, and we feel it's uh, important. My all-time favorite? Ah, that's also a tough question. As a player, I would say Lindan is the, I think, the best player ever. And uh, a lot of people think this way. And also I was uh, lucky enough to, uh, I was the first reporter to interview him. And he was a baby, he was all shy and, uh, you know, and it was, it was a funny story. And now I see him, he's a bigger star and a mega legend and still playing. So, uh, yeah, I would say Lindan because he's uh, such a legend. Expression-wise, of course, it's great to see uh, players showing emotions for us, especially at the end of the, of the match, like Xu Tianchen from uh, Chinese Taipei. He's always great to shoot because he's celebrating in a, in a great style. Tai Tzu Ying also, or Ratchana Gintanon, these are the players who show emotion when they win. So for us, it's, uh, it's great to be there on the side court to, uh, to immortalize this, uh, these moments. But uh, there are also players like Victor Axelsen. He's, uh, he just goes by the book. He's, uh, gesture are perfect so we know what to expect so we make good pictures of that kind of player because you know they are so it, so easy to read in a way as, as a photographer so you know these are good players to shoot. In terms of uh, photography it's about the same there are challenges um, you know because the sport is so fast and it's in dark conditions um, but uh, I feel the sport is, uh, I think, easier to adjust to because, like I said, it's, it's a big family. People are nice to each other. Uh, the players are very accessible compared to other sports, for instance. Um, so I would say that badminton, once you start doing badminton photography, it's hard to switch to another sport because then you feel like, okay, I don't feel so welcome in other venues or in other sports because it's not so friendly and, and, and easy to, uh, to get to. So, um, yeah, I would say, you know, the fa family feeling that we have in the, in the sport makes it special. Uh, there are many rewards, otherwise I wouldn't have been doing that for, for 20 years. Uh, first of all, being part of this uh, community and this fraternity, it's like a big family of badminton compared to other sports I've covered. Um, we feel like uh, everybody know each other and are kind to each other. Uh, and uh, our relationship with the players is also very special. We are here on the side court and it feels like we leave what they leave in terms of emotion and we're so close to the action. That's something that's, uh, that's very rewarding and, and probably why all the badminton photographers today uh, keep doing this job.